Hi and welcome to my sim hangar. Some panels like the avionics power panel, there are some switches where you need to push or pull them to move them into different positions. Of course you can buy them, but here's my take on my DIY version of it. A regular rotary switch is put on a mounting bracket which has four slides to move up and down on the mounting plate. As usual, all the parts are 3D printed. The locking mechanism is a small cylinder which gets clamped to the shaft of the rotary. It has a small nose that can hook into the according holes in the mounting plate. The angle between the holes is the same as the rotation angle of the switch. Here's the mounting plate for the IFF panel, where only the first and last positions are fixed and the switch can rotate freely between the other positions. Assembly is quite easy, but you have to take care of the order of operation because otherwise you will have to start again. First, the switch goes on the mounting bracket. Next, the whole part slides onto the four screws. For the push mechanism, it's important to have the sliding disc already in place because you won't get it in afterwards. Locking disc and shaft are clamped together. Finally, the springs are put into place and get preloaded through the washers and nuts. Push and pull mechanism use the same parts, they just differ in the placement of the springs and the orientation of the locking disc. Because of this mechanism, the shafts of the switches don't reach through the panel anymore. I designed and printed those shaft extenders with customizable length. Now the knobs can easily be mounted. They clamp to the shafts like the locking discs. The clamping is strong enough, even for the pull mechanism. And here's the whole avionics power panel, still with the wrong knobs I put on for testing. Pull and push mechanism work perfectly. I'm going to use this technique in other panels too, like the IFF panel you've seen before. Thanks for watching!